All right, uh, hey guys. So I've seen a few tutorials on how to make a um, five gallon bucket cloner, but I have not seen any where the lid has 21 clone sites. So I thought I'd uh, maybe show you guys how I made mine. Um, it's pretty easy. It's a little nerve wracking making the lid because if you screw up, you know, you gotta maybe get another one. It's only $2.48 for the lid though. Um, so here's what you'll need. You'll need a drill. You'll need a lid, of course. This is food grade. You want a food grade bucket as well. Some black paint, a lid remover, because the food grade bucket lids are ridiculously hard to get off of a bucket. Um, a medicine container, a Black & Decker hole saw kit. This was an amazing deal. Got it at Fred Meyer for about nine bucks. Uh, in my previous build where I got three inch, where I had three inch holes, I paid 20 bucks for the three inch hole saw alone at Lowe's. So try and look for this little kit. I'll put a link in the description. They have it on Amazon. Uh, Sharpie, permanent marker, alcohol, swab, wipe, whatever, and a five gallon bucket with water filled about up to here. I'll explain why in a minute. All right, I forgot one more thing. You'll also need some type of black dark foam for your inserts to hold your cuttings. And I got this from a motherboard, sorry, a power supply box that you know came bracing my power supply. And it's perfect foam thickness, squishiness for uh, your inserts so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on neoprene. One more thing, you will need a 3 uh drill bit. So yeah, grab one of those. All right, first off, uh, you'll want a half, no sorry, one and a half inch hole saw, which is that one. Sorry, right there. And um, the reason, you can fit more than 21 sights on here. I highly recommend you don't though, because you want a decent amount of spacings or spacing for your cuttings to fit so they're not you know bunched up against each other and possibly damaging your cuttings so 21 is perfect and it's pretty much the norm what I see on you know like commercial ones that you could buy already made for you um, so for the lid you want 13 holes on the outer ring and then you want seven on the inner ring and one in the middle and you kind of got to guess and you know for the spacing you can you know be ultra paranoid about it and do some measuring but i just guessed here and there and erased and redid them and um, got the amount of spacing that i wanted and what to do to get these one and a half inch perfect circles is to use this puppy right here because the lid of a medicine container is exactly one and a half inches. So I used a Sharpie permanent marker. If you do use a permanent marker, you will absolutely need a, some type of alcohol swab to uh, erase your mistakes and redo it here and there. Um, so yeah, and don't be an idiot like I did and thought like a dry erase marker would go on and then easily wipe off. No, you could use a dry erase marker, just be sure to have a, alcohol swab with you or else you're gonna end up with a smeared mess. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so I know I already did the holes, or not the holes, the uh, circles for the lid, but uh, I thought I'd kind of explain how I did it, um, or more so, I guess, how to find the exact center of the lid. Um, and if you're off a little bit when you're drilling these, it'll be okay because there's enough spacing in between where if you're off by a little bit, you should be all right. But basically to find the center of this thing is you flip it onto, let's, let's try and focus, shall we? Try and, um, you wanna flip it and there's this little plastic ring here and there's a perfect little ring circle right in the middle there. So just uh, mark it with your Sharpie and drill a hole right down the uh, center of that. See, and what I did here was I pried out the little plastic piece here. You know, now you can flip it around and you can trace your perfect center point for the circle. Yeah. 
All right, drilling the hole in the medicine container with my 316 drill bit. All right, good enough. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Whatever works. All right, now that I got the center point of my medicine lid, I will go ahead and draw the center point of each one of these circles so I know where to drill. the center point of every circle ready to drill. Now for drilling, um, I'll explain that as I, after I get the uh, hole saw put together. Be right back. And assembling the hole saw is pretty easy for this uh, um, little kit here that I got. You just put it in. Make sure it's the one and a half inch size. There we go. And then screw on the cap there. And then stick that in your drill. Now, here's where your 3 16 inch drill bit comes in. Because there is so little space here, um, you know, first of all, you're going to be drilling these in reverse, not forward. Uh, so, you know, drilling. You have to drill forward first to actually get the hole going, and I found that using this first to get the hole going, um, you know, if you're putting too much pressure, you're going to go down too far and you're going to jerk it and possibly ruin your lid, ruin your hole. So I like to pre-drill the hole with the 3 16th inch on each dot, then I can, you know, just slip this in right away and do, uh, do it in reverse right off the bat, as opposed to drilling the first hole with this thing where you're going to you know, possibly go too far and screw up your lid. So that's that. I'll go ahead and do that now. Which by the way, you'll need, this is where your uh, five gallon bucket with water comes in filled because I like, uh, I'm a pretty skinny guy, you know, I'm not like uh, strong, I guess. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ultra buff. So I like to have just some weight, uh, some weight in here to kind of just hold it down so it's easier for me to drill. So that's my bucket filled with water. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. So I don't have my lid totally you know, sealed because I don't want to because it's a pain to get off. And I want to be able to throw away the stuff that falls through fairly easily. So here we go. I'll go ahead and do drill the holes down and um, probably will speed up this part. pre-drilling my center holes there you know some of them aren't perfect but uh, if I'm off by a little bit it'll be okay because the spacing in between these are fine which is why 21 sites is like the optimal amount um, for a five gallon bucket lid you know if you do more you're gonna have to do like precise exact measurements so now I will drill the actual holes with the hole saw. Now, 
I changed my mind for this because I'm trying to remember the first time I did this, I did actually seal the lid because I wanted to make sure it was secure and, you know, sturdy while I'm making my actual holes instead of risking, you know, it catching and then, you know, going all haywire on me. So I would actually recommend sealing your lid for this, actual drilling the holes. So um, you definitely will need your <laughs> bucket lid opener as well. Okay, so I can't actually seal my lid because this is a, uh, this, this is just for demonstration. This isn't actually a food grade bucket. It's a Walmart bucket. Um, so I can't seal it on one of these, but uh, yeah, I recommend you do on your actual real food grade bucket uh, for reasons I just described before. So let's go ahead and drill these. All right, so now that we have our pre-drilled holes Go ahead and attach your 1.5 inch hole saw to your drill and um, a uh, cordless drill is definitely uh, preferred and make sure it's set on reverse. You're going to be doing these, drilling these in reverse because it's a lot easier, it like melts away the material as opposed to like actual sawing it where it can jerk and get all screwed up and especially when you're doing so many holes in a lid this is especially helpful. So let's go ahead and do this. I may speed this up. All right, one down. So I recommend that you start on the uh, inside and work your way out because um, it will get very difficult if you start on the outside and work your way in because this will be very weak and you won't get good support if you know have all these drilled and you're going for the final center hole. It's, it could be done, you know, but it's just, I think this is a lot easier. What's nice about this method also is that the entire, well, almost, the entire mess goes into uh, the bucket there so you don't have to, you know, sweep or whatever, uh, even though I'll probably have to do a little bit of that anyway because there's some debris here and there. But anyway, for the most part, it keeps it pretty uh, clean. All right, so at this point, you can get ready to paint your uh, bucket lid, um, you know, as you can see, I didn't get a perfect uh, cutting there on every single one, but it did fine because there was enough spacing to compensate for a little bit of error. So that's that. I'll go ahead and paint this black. Now you may or may not want to use a primer uh, to paint it. I've never used a primer. I don't know if it'll actually help on this type of uh, material. Um, I assume it will though, because when I just use straight up black paint, uh, it tends to chip fairly easily, even after it's like fully dried and everything. So, but I'm generally pretty careful with it. So I just use straight up uh, paint or uh, spray paint there. So I'll go ahead and do that now. First coat is done. Now I'm gonna let it dry and uh, make the inserts while I wait for it to dry. And uh, you're definitely gonna want to do a second coat if you're not using a primer. And like I said, if you know you put tape or something on here to like label your cuttings, like I do, uh, it's gonna peel away the paint if you put it directly on the paint. So you know now I put the tape on the uh, actual inserts themselves. So. Just a warning, if you don't use a primer, it can chip fairly easily. But yeah, I don't have any, so there we go. All right, for your neoprene inserts, same deals with the lid. Just take off the cap here, the medicine container, and uh, 
draw a circle on your foam. Now, if you don't have PC hardware with this foam, there are other things you can use. At Lowe's, you can buy this white, these white thin foam strips uh, that unfortunately light penetrates through pretty easily. But what I did was I colored them with a permanent marker to make them as dark as possible until I discovered this awesome material. So there's your circle, the center point there. Let me cut it out here. What else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else about the. Oh right, another thing you could use is uh. At the dollar store, I see these uh, knee pads that you kneel down for gardening. That material is kind of foamy and might might work. So, so I obviously do not have enough to make 21 of these with this amount of foam, but uh, I already have a completed cloner, so I'm good. And plus, I have more PC hardware that I think I could use as well for these. So you just cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's, you know, you're going to be squishing it in there anyway, so it'll be good enough. You can manicure it a little bit. And um, then you just cut a slit down the middle like that. So that's where you stick the cutting. I like to, uh, I usually use a pocket knife, but you can use scissors to kind of pry a hole in there so the stem of the cutting can fit a little more securely and easily. That's good enough. So there, just 21 of those, and you're good to go. And like I said before, I, uh, I think I said before that I will put links in the description to some of these items that you can get. Um, on Amazon, you know, you can't get everything, you can't get the foam, but you can buy neoprene on Amazon or um, whatever else might work. Yeah, so uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. I hope it uh, helped you in making a 21 site cloner lid for your five gallon bucket. Um, I think it works great. I love the size of the five gallon buckets. Uh, you know, I've seen all these tutorials of how to make these elaborate cloners in these huge storage bins, and that never really appealed to me because just I think they're too big, they take up too much space. When you fill it with water, it's extremely heavy, which is why I love the five gallon bucket size and the fact that you can make a large amount of clones in a five gallon bucket, I think is awesome. So, there you go. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed it. I will be doing more uh, videos uh, in regards to gardening and possibly some other things. Some randomness. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.